Hey, so I get asked all the time, how do I set up the timing of my real estate drip campaign so that I'm not bugging them too much, but at the same time that they don't forget me. So the really key is to make sure they don't forget you. I think more than anything else, but you also want to make sure you're sending them good content. So this video is going to talk about my recommended timing on what you should and should not do when you're setting up your drip campaign and your timing. So let's get to it. Let's talk about my recommended timing on when you're sending stuff. So the top line is engaging emails. So we're talking engagement. So we're trying to get them to talk to us. Basically, it's a new lead coming into the system. That's what this is about. And so day one, day zero, one, three, five, seven, 10, and 14. For the first two weeks, this is my recommendation is that you send something out this much. And it may look like a lot, but it's not really. Um, and if it's something that's helping them, they're going to read them, right? And they know that it's a real estate lead or a real estate email and you, they know it's from real estate. Hopefully they'll open it up. So they're going to get that. Now, text. I am not, as I mentioned to you yesterday, not a huge fan of over texting. I think it's a big mistake. You'll get in a lot of trouble. The people will get mad. They'll opt out so fast. And if they say, I'm not Joe, when they said they, when somebody signed up, said their name was Joe, well, then you need to stop immediately. But send something out right away, acknowledging that you got it, you got their information, that you're gonna send them whatever it is they asked for. Then tomorrow, what I would do is send out, oh, by the way, here's a link to my website. So I did mention yesterday, you don't wanna put a link in your first text because you want them to respond to you. And if they click on it, they won't come back. So you want, I wait till tomorrow and send, oh, by the way, here's my website. And then a week from now, send another text. So I don't even think in my campaign, I think if I text them six or seven times throughout the year, that's, that's about it. That's it for the whole year. I want to say in general. And so listing market info. So remember, I was just talking about that. So you want that to pretty much go as I would go at least every couple, two to three days, if you can. Um, if your system wants to send it every day, because you've set it up in your subscriptions to send every day, then I would recommend you do that. Uh, just go ahead and do it. And if it's not set up, because you have to keep in mind, if somebody does come to your website and they sign up and, and ask you a question or something, that doesn't mean that they set up listing alerts. So all of you people that are using your KV cores and your Easy Agent Pros and all those sites, boom towns, just because they got to your site and signed up for something doesn't mean they agreed or set up or even saw that they had the ability to set up a search to send to themselves. So you need to go into each one of your leads and, and set them up based on what it is you think they looked at, because it probably showed you what they saved. Because if they saved one house, that they might be keeping track of that, right? If, but they'd have to physically go in there and say, I want to get a search set up and I want these things sent to me. And if they didn't do that, and most of them don't, you should go in there and do that and or set them up at the easiest thing you could do is probably get a campaign running and just send it out to them based on what I said, that drip campaign that if you can send it up and then they, then let them tell you what they want because it's going to be time consuming if you've got a lot of leads. So just be aware of that. Okay. Um, so, all right. Now what happens after the first two weeks? Well, I suggest every minimum, every five to seven days for the first month, then every one to two weeks, for the next year. So it depends on what it is, but every at least one to two weeks for the next year, okay? No more than three times in the first week is your touch, right? And then after that, one time in the third week, and then then every 30 days, I wouldn't even say, I think that's even too much. If they, because they're gonna give you, when they respond to you, you're gonna hear pretty quickly what they want if they don't, if they do respond. And hopefully you're sending something that's getting them to respond. But if you overdo it, I think, you know, 30 days is probably a little bit much, maybe, you know, every 45 days or something like that. At that point, you're, you know, already a couple months into this. So just be careful. Okay. Um, and then what you're doing in those things, by the way, is, you know, educating, letting them know, send them a link of this so here or there, whatever. Um, so then you're also sending your listings. You're going to keep that going. For buyers, I would send it, set it up to send for a minimum of two years if you can. If your system just allows you to turn it on, it's just going to stay on, right? And then for seller, ideally for five years. 
But here's what I consider an, uh, an old stale lead is somebody that came in the system and they're less than two years old. If they're older than two years old, then I think that you're probably, you know, setting yourself up for, you, you need to figure out what you're going to send them. I might send them maybe the first re-engagement templates or something out of the system before I would, uh, you know, turn on a big long campaign for them if they're older than two years old. I'll just find out if they're still alive and breathing and what, what their situation is. And then reminders, you do, if you can, set up reminders for yourself in the system and or notifications. My CRM allows us to add notifications of all kinds of stuff. And I could notify 10 people in my system about a new lead that came in if I wanted to or more. So depends on what your system and your CRM will allow you to do. But if you can do it, great, you know.